Hello everyone, hope you are well on this Wednesday night. We need to prepare like never before, y'all. The repo man, or the repo men, plural, whatever. You're gonna be busy, very busy. Especially over the next year, y'all. I'm gonna go into that and other things here. Also, I have two good passages, really good passages to share with you. Uh, here in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. But first, last night I had to go and uh, pick up a prescription at the uh, pharmacy, CVS, right here in town. And I usually go in because it's a little, usually a little quicker just to walk in and get it that way instead of having to wait in the driving line. So I walk in, I'm in line, there's several people in front of me, you know, so I have time to kind of watch and scan and all that. And I was just really focusing on the the folks behind the counter and working their butts off for sure, as busy as all, you know, I'll get out. And as I get closer to the counter, I can see better because I just haven't been in there in a while. I mean, I haven't been up there to pick up one in person like that in quite a while. But uh, as I get closer to the counter, I'm, I can see how, you know, how they have uh, like the the containers like the uh, baskets where they put the prescriptions in, the bags in, and they're alphabetized, you know, for uh, everybody's last name, I guess. But I was just struck. I mean, A, they're just busy. It's all, and I know pharmacies are busy, but they were really running. And the baskets were, you know, like, the, like I watched the pharmacist, like he's, you know, filling prescriptions, he's on the phone, he's filling prescriptions puts them in the bag, and then he puts the bag in the appropriate basket under the person's last name, I'm assuming. But the baskets are so full. I mean, there were just rows and rows of them and just stacked high. I mean, it's like he was having to stuff them in the basket. You know, the bag almost flew out. There's so many in there, and all the baskets look that way. Every, every letter in the alphabet is just packed. I mean, I guess... I shouldn't be surprised, but I was just struck at how many prescription drugs are be, are waiting to be picked up. It's just amazing, the volume. I, I guess I was just kind of flabbergasted at the volume of it. I shouldn't be, I know. And that's not even counting mail order, you know, that, that never even touches those baskets, I guess. But I'm like, you know, we are a prescription society. And, and I know, you know, some, depending on health needs, you have to have it. But what I also thought about being a dog mind here is, uh, you know, what if uh, something happens? I've heard that there are sh certain shortages already of certain things, of prescriptions and drugs. And what if something really happened? What if, you know, we import a lot of that stuff, you know, and it, what if it gets cut off or severely, you know, shortage? You know, I, can you imagine the chaos if, if that just stopped, you know? Uh, so I thought about that, too. But anyway, I just had to share that. Share your thoughts on that. Okay, into the meat of it here. Uh, Y'all, I mean, the the Fed, we talked about several things. The Fed uh, raised the rate up. Uh, today, the news came out. The interest rate up uh, 0.5%, so 50 basis points, I guess you could say it. Um, that's the highest that it's been in 15 years. It's an effort to slow down this inflation. Will it slow it down? Now, that's a good question. You know, you, you hear people say, yeah, it's going to slow it down. And then I hear some say, no, it's not. It's going to slow certain things down. You know, and then I and then you have reports, well, that has slowed down just slightly. I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like to me it's slowed down at all when you go out there to buy things you know, from food to just other goods, appliances. If you try to buy one of them lately, heaven help you if you have to buy a car or you try to go buy a house right now and you have to finance something. Now, if you're a cash buyer, okay, maybe different, but if you have to finance something now, now it's going to cost even more to service the debt, to service uh, any kind of loan, you know, to, to borrow money. Uh, it just went way up again. You know, so, and they also indicated that the rates will keep climbing uh, probably 75 points the next time, and that they're indicating that they're going to keep these rates high 
through 2023, and there will be no reduction until possibly 2024, y'all. Let that sink in. We are going to see hardships, hard times. You could see big time layoffs. I mean, on a level that you haven't seen in quite a while. <clears throat> Is food going to just start lowering a price? No, we know that. Uh, you know, they might have a little sale on something for a week. It's going to go right, shoot right back up there. Uh, I know when we went, we would go to the store almost every week to top off on some things and, and, and get, you know, to, to, to make sure we're, we're trying to fill holes or anything like that. And it's just amazing. You know, it's amazing when you pay for it. It's like, you know, it's still shock. It's still shock. So that's food. Gas, I know they're like, oh, let's come down. Not really. I mean, <laughs> it's still painful because it's still way up from what it was a couple of years ago. So, no, it's still kicking your wallet in the behind, you know. So gas is still high. Utilities, is that going to go down? No. No, that's going to keep going up. Whether it's winter, summer, you know. Like I said, uh, heaven help you with an auto loan or a home loan. Even if your credit is pristine and you put a lot down, you're still going to have a higher interest rate than it was maybe even six months ago. The repo man, what a business to be in right now. Yeah, it's a growing industry, I'm sure. Energy costs and supply. You know, it seems like they're determined to put us in the dark some form or fashion, even if it's just temporary. You know, uh, so you have to think about that too. You know, prepare for that. Prepare for ever rising food costs, uh, energy, be put in the dark. Uh, also, you know, when you hear Walmart CEO talk, actually have the words come out of his mouth, closing some stores, you know, it's on then. When you hear Walmart and Target are struggling, struggling with theft, whatever you want to call it, and they may have to close some stores, would you have even thought that even possible, remotely possible, a few years ago, if somebody would have told you Walmart is going to close some stores nationwide? You know, not all stores, I know, but if they're going to, they're going to close some stores, no, you wouldn't have thought that even possible. That big investment firm, BlackRock, probably heard of it. They said not long ago that, that it is their belief that a deep recession is upon us and will get worse like no other. Could be a depression, actually. Also, kind of waiting on, not really wanting it, to, not wanting it at all, but... Uh, you know, I, I anticipate another shoe to drop with health crisis. I call it the health crisis. Uh, I don't think we're done with that. That could roll around again. Uh, if the wars overseas escalate any more than they already are, that could impact us directly, y'all. Directly. On multiple levels. Okay? We rely on imports. Mentioned it earlier with the uh, pharmaceuticals, but we rely on it on a lot of stuff. It's a shame we do. We shouldn't have to, but we are a service economy when it really boils down to it. We rely on imports. If that gets even reduced a little bit, we will feel it big time. If a war escalated to where the imports stop, y'all, uh, at the same time, our SPR, our Strategic Petroleum Reserve, keeps getting drained every day. And what will it cost? What will the gas prices cost when they try to raise that again, if they ever do, if they ever try to top that off again? That'll, you know, you know, you know who'll be paying for that. Yes, you know. Attacks on the grid, what if they keep up? Other unforeseen events. Something we're not even thinking about right now. So it is definitely not a time to uh, sit back and say, I'm good. Woo. You know, keep on, keep on, keep on preparing. 
Uh, you got to look at everything, not just food, water. You know, that's you got to have that. But look at security. Uh, look at financial. Uh, you know, every that's all. That's different for everybody. I'm not a financial uh, expert. I won't give advice on that. But look at that and, and what's best for you and your family. Where can you cut back on something? Where can you pool resources? Layoffs. What what if you what if you're a two income earn a uh, two income family and you have to uh, you have to all of a sudden rely on one income? Are you ready for that? Uh, how can you get ready for that? You know, two. I have two really good verses or passages to share. First one is from sticking with Matthew and Matthew uh, chapter five verse. 10 says, blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Is that comforting or not? I believe it's very comforting. Also, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1 verse 9 says, he has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. Before the beginning of time. We just have to accept it. We have to have faith. Believe as Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Redeemer. Share your thoughts. Stay safe out there. God bless you. I'll see you soon.